the quite any old time uh, requirements on the old trucks that they were they used to be bulk Cans of uh, kerosene with a wick on them. Oh my gosh! And, and they were mounted on a bracket on the outside of the truck. And uh, so, if you had a breakdown, you'd take them out, you know, and light them. And uh, I often wondered. It's one of those cases where I look back and I regret. But your mother and I were in uh, Cuba. Wisconsin, and we went into one of the second-hand stores, and there was a, a set of those in there, still in a box. Oh, wow. And each of them looked like they might have been, you know, lit a couple times, but for the most part, they were brand new. They wanted 60 bucks for them, and it was the three containers plus the bracket. And uh, I, got, I don't, you know, I don't really need these. As we were walking around through the store, I kept convincing myself that I really didn't need them, and uh, I won. <laughs> it doesn't seem as violent as some of the old ones. Yeah. It certainly is bright, though. On that trip, your mother, uh, Wisconsin, of course, is known for cheese. Yeah. So we're in this town, uh, Cuba, Cuba. And she said, here's a, a cheese store. Let's go in. I said, okay. So we go in and hanging up on the wall, there's pictures of a, a 36 Dodge truck with a company name on it. So it was a family-owned uh, cheese place, you know, going back in, you know, indefinitely. So your mother buys some cheese and a uh, nice lady in there waiting on her. So we get back to the campground and uh, it, was one, it was one of your mother's favorite campgrounds on the road. She said, why don't you make the hors d'oeuvres tonight? I said, okay. And she said, then we'll, we'll, we'll have a drink. I said, all right, fine. She said, hey, you can get some of that cheese I bought today to make the hors d'oeuvres rather than uh, what we normally have. I said, okay. So I go in, I open a package. I cut some cheese off and put it on some on pretzels. I bring it out there. A little while later, she goes in the refrigerator and she says, Did you cut up that gift I had for Nora? I said, What? She said, Oh, that was a, a chunk of cheese shaped like a heart. I bought that for Nora. <laughs> I said, I, I didn't know. You told me to get what you, we, we got today. Oh, man. Uh, I told Nora that story some time ago, and she says, oh, I never knew that story. I said, well, uh, was your, your mother had bought these cheese shaped like art, and uh, we both digested it. 